So in this part of the course, we're going to take a look at setting up your color scheme or your color palette. Whenever you're creating a design, it's extremely important to use the most perfectly complementary colors so it doesn't hit the eyes too rashly or it doesn't look too dull and too boring. It's going to, it, we have to make it more attractive and appealing uh, so that people watch it and people look at it and pay attention to them. So how do you build a good color palette or a color scheme? Now if a client has specific requirements then you have no other choice to use those colors and if you're given a choice to choose whatever colors you want then uh, it's going to be a little difficult. So I have found a website which allows you to pick the best color combinations. So if I come over here to my browser, you can see I'm on a website called coolers.co and this is an extremely fun website and uh, not only because of the fact that it looks great, but it's very use it it's very easy to use and get what we need. So I'm just going to click on the start generator option over here and it also has an iOS app which you can download for your iPhone and also an Adobe add-in so I think you have to pay five to ten dollars to put it into every Adobe software that you use and you also have a Chrome extension which is the new thing that they released but I'm but I don't use Chrome a lot so it's not gonna help me that much anyways let's click on start the generator and as you can see we end up getting this beautiful looking interface and uh, all I have to do if I want to change the colors I can press the spacebar on my keyboard and that's going to give me a new set of colors. Now this is a pretty, pretty cool color palette. Now this is for something light and trendy for something like an apparel design or clothes or if you press spacebar again this probably could be for real estate or housing. Uh, this again you know could, for, could, could be for children's clothes especially for girls and uh, this is again something random if you want dark we see we have a dark version over here so this is something uh, which would look good on a Netflix website so all these are beautiful complementary colors now even without creating any design if you just look at it it looks so pleasing and so amazing to use now assume you have all this setup and uh, you don't want you don't like this gray color you want to change this gray color all, all you can do is you can click here on the alternative shades and you can choose whichever you want so I can click on this now I can compare these two together now if I want to compare this color and this color all I can do is select it and just drag it over uh, to this side by holding down this drag key and there you go now I can compare all these three colors to the same now for example a client tells you I like this red color but see what other colors suit well what I can do is I can click here on this lock icon and I can press spacebar again and it's going to change all the other colors except this color so now I can go ahead and see which works well with this red color and uh, that's a pretty cool thing you can also go ahead and copy this and you can also enter your own color. So if I press um, F, 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 you see I can get a um, white color and it automatically updates it. So if I go and set this to 0, 0, 0, 0, it automatically changes to the color which I want, which is pretty awesome. I can also go and change the hue and saturation right over here in case I want to play around. Very handy. So if you want to have a look at other versions, you can come here to the Explore tab. And you can see there are a super cool, amazing bunch of uh, color that, that are ready to use and uh, to export. So for example, I kind of like this one over here, Spock Radio 2. What I can do is I can click on this view button to just view it and it opens up this for me and uh, this is really great. Now if I want to go back, I can click on save and I need to create an account here to save it. So I'm not going to do that for now and I can just click on export rather and I can choose, I can copy the URL, I can click on the URL or I can download it as a PDF if I want, if the client wants it as a PDF or what are the other options we got? We got a PNG as well so if I click on PNG I think that's the best thing and you, see, you can see it comes on like this I can just right click, I can, give, say, I can click on save picture as and I'm gonna save it up to my desktop right now and in the PDF version you can see it gives me all these hex codes the CMYK colors, a lot of useful information and you can also go ahead and export this as an SVG as well and uh, so now we can go back to our Adobe XD and I can go to click on file and click on import and I can select my imported file and there you go we have this and I'm just going to move this over to the side to the side and I can shrink this down like so and just move this over right here to the corner and uh, you see I now have my color palette ready and I can just use this one around but for the part of but for the purpose of this course I'm not going to be using any color palette because we're just going to be using basic colors gray white and black so there's not much uh, color palette that's needed but this I just wanted to show you guys this so that's the end of this part of the course and we are going to go and in the next video take a look at start creating our design